Hey everyone, welcome back. Andy Cruz here in business development. And Will Flores with Mortgage Heroes. So we're back with a new week and we need to talk about some things. There's a lot happening in the market. We kind of have a few pit stops to make today. The first one we're gonna talk about are interest rates. Yes. <laughs> I'm already laughing, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about interest rates. Okay, where are interest rates now? What's happening? What are we seeing? Uh, they keep going up, you know, and uh, obviously we heard today inflation is not down. <laughs> Inflation's up, yeah. Rates you know, are up. Yeah. rates are up and uh, everybody's saying a lot of financial analysts are actually saying that we're a year late, you know, so. Yeah, there's a lot of sentiment that the Fed is late to their own party. <laughs> Correct, to their own party. So with that said, we can actually predict based on the tone, tonality of the Fed and everybody else that rates have to continue to go up because yeah. inflation actually went up it was down and then it went up yeah so yeah rates are uh, definitely higher than they were a month ago or Absolutely. 60 days ago you know we did kind of get a little bit of a relief in the summer but it was very short-lived yeah um you know over on monday mortgage minute i've been talking to everyone about how our general direction is still up and there yes. are gonna be days where there's relief there will yes. be blips on the radar where it comes down it eases up for a day or two what's interesting about today is that when the inflation number came out the, the bond yields were skyrocketing and then they actually came back down and they kind of settled in a little bit. But it hasn't changed direction because yeah. the Fed is now basically a lock for a 75 basis point hike at the November meeting. Yep, and yeah, and investors are already pricing into that. They're already so. pricing that in. So, uh, so what that actually means, everyone, is when we mean in pricing it in, the simplest form we can say it is, they're already predicting that the rates are gonna go high, so they might as well do it now you know, by little by little continue to increase the rate so that when the time comes that the Fed meeting is in place and they actually increase the rate, it's pretty much already there. It's not like this big old, whoa, yeah, Halloween, let me, yeah, <laughs> I'm scaring you. They're already operating as if that's where we're going. And, the, yeah. and the, the Fed's already kind of shown us their hand yeah. uh, in that case, but we're seeing that live pricing change right now. Correct. The other thing I want to talk about when it comes to pricing is yes, they are elevated. Uh, the other thing too is be careful and cautious of volatility. We are yeah. telling all of our clients that not only in our personal conversations with them, but also on Monday Mortgage Minute, even on these conversations, yeah. beware of volatility. You need to understand that price can change by a half percent in any given day and yeah. sometimes interday meaning it opens at one rate and it changes against you or for you in that same day yeah. session yeah so right now the most important thing that we're being asked as soon as a client goes into escrow did you lock yeah and we're yeah. locking yeah. it you know we're not playing you know the game that we used to play before where you know we would see the rates go up and then they like a week later two weeks they go back down right you know, we're not seeing that. There's no room for that, right? There's no yeah. room for that. So we're like, um, that's the biggest thing. That's the yeah. biggest scare, yeah. right? Because when we're approving people, uh, they're getting approved. They already have a set price of what their payment looks like. And that quarter percent, half a percent makes a huge difference, yeah. Andy. So yeah, yeah we're that's, that's the biggest question from our yeah. clients right now. All right, so be rate aware, be rate cautious, and yes. be rate proactive. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and if you're looking to get that car loan, you might as well do it now because we already know three quarters of a percent usually is going to go up again in November. So, yeah. you know, it's just everything just keeps, it, it, it keeps going. You're going to keep pushing until you That's get to it. the target inflation rate of 2%, which still seems far off on the horizon. Yeah. So. Let's you know, so let's, Andy, you guys got to follow Andy, listen to him. This guy is the brains. With that said, how many months do you think we'll, we'll be seeing inflation kind of uh, at this at this pace? We'll see like inflation start kind of dwindling down. Uh, well, okay, I have my personal opinion about yeah, this. Personal, I also have please. what Jerome Powell has said. Okay. So Jerome Powell has said that we're going to see high inflation next year and into the year after that. Mm, and then okay. he continued talking. I was like, whoa, 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 hey, you said next year, which is 2023. And then you kind of slid in the year after that, which is 2024. Whoa. So I think we're at least in this for the next 12 to 18 months. Now, I'm not saying that it'll continue increasing, but it's gonna be at the elevated levels. And even when it's decreasing, remember where it's decreasing yeah. from. This is a part I think a lot of people aren't talking about. Yeah. I'm not hearing it. People are not advanced in advance telling consumers, yeah. the public, even if inflation goes down to seven, it's still seven. Yeah. Even if it goes down to six, it's still at six. Yeah. Unless we have labor participation increase and you have wages increase, people are still gonna be for the most part, chasing inflation yeah. until it gets back to that rate. And it's gonna take a long time to get yeah. there. I think 18 months personally, okay. I think Papa Jerome is saying that more like in early 2024. Who is that guy? Very hopeful. Jerome Powell, the federal chairman. There you go. So He is the most, just so you know, I, I, 
you know, always had a hard time knowing who's who. But anyways, I know who he is. And yeah. he is the most influential man in the world. It's not the, the yes. it, it's it's not, not the president. It's not the Pope. It's no, it's the not the beer guy. Chairman. Who's the beer guy? The most influential. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting man the, in the world. Dos Equis guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not him. It's not him. It's yeah. not him. But um, it's this guy. If this guy sneezes or just looks a little like yeah. nervous, that's it, guys. Investors will say that's bad news let's go increase and it's yeah this they're guy changing monetary policy for the u.s but yeah. everyone it's a ripple effect everyone else either walks in lockstep or in the case of japan yeah. resists which is interesting because they're not playing along with everyone else no. and that's creating tension overseas a different topic for a different they're a day, different but... they're, they're a different country and different <laughs> everything yeah but what he does affects what other central Absolutely. banks do or don't do yeah and therefore he is like the epicenter of a lot yeah. of what we're doing very right interesting very yep. interesting but yeah that's that's who it is and um wow we, interesting times andy is all i can yeah. say you know what i mean and uh we just gotta brace ourselves and uh one thing we do say continue to say just continue to save don't yeah you know if you don't if you don't need to go get that car you don't need to go get that get yeah, that debt right now just hang tight. hang tight you know everything's getting a little more expensive um some things are going to return to they're going to return from the from outer space into their price and come back down into our you know digestible appetite price range yeah just, just give it time yeah i mean hey i just talked to my neighbor he owns a restaurant pizza pizzeria yeah. and he was telling me the box of cheese he used to get it six months ago for 43 bucks yeah. now it's at 96 dollars yeah. so andy you're a math guy what percentage of increase that's, is that, that? That's a hundred percent increase almost. <laughs> that's almost you know, hundred percent increase. Yeah. Yeah, I did that, and it's like, whoa, that is pretty high, guys. Yeah. Very, very high. And so food, yeah, food and energy are really the two that are raging uh, across all sectors right now. Absolutely. Um, and again, they're just—it's it, going to take time to work out. This is exactly. They're, they're, we didn't we didn't quickly get into this problem. And we're not going to get out of it quickly. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, one of the other things, too, that I saw very interesting, Andy, yesterday is I had a conversation with the client. He wanted to know, like, what can I get approved for? How yeah. much income do I need? Because yeah. he's actually uh, transitioning. He's a veteran, became a veteran. And um, I, I, obviously, thanks for your service, you know. And um, he's be he became a veteran recently. He's create, doing his own business. He decided to go the self-employed side of it. So he wants to know how much income am I going to need yeah. in order to qualify for this other, mm -hmm. for this new home, you know? And so I said, well, what is it that you're looking for? Oh, around, you know, the six, six fifty ish. Okay, great. So he was going to need about 8,500 bucks a month. Yeah. 8,500. Okay, yeah. Gross income. Gross income. Yeah. Exactly. Um, actually net right? Oh, okay. It's going to be net. He's self-employed, so he's oh, going to have yeah, to claim, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got it. you know, so he'll have to make $8,500 to afford a $4,900 yeah. payment, yeah, you know? Good. Okay. And so his thing was like, well, wait a minute. I, I, what's going to happen another year if prices go up? I said, well, you know, if rates go down, for instance, when they do go down at 3.875, that would have been $840,000 purchase. Man, that's, a huge, that's a huge difference. That's the power of like the rate change, but also like that's that also helps us keep the pricing. Yeah. The pricing right so now. I, for me too, I was kind of like, whoa! Wow. I was blown yeah, away, and it, it was like you know, even though we're doing this day in day out, you know, sometimes you got to put these numbers in perspective to yeah. really help you understand what you really should be looking for. So he yeah. was actually pretty motivated. Now, well, if rates go down a little more, I know custom homes are going to keep increasing that same house, yeah. maybe another two years. Because remember, self-employed has to prove two years, two years right? Income, yeah. And so with VA. And so what will happen is in two years, what if homes now rates going down and yeah. homes are higher? So he wanted to have an idea. Should I stay here in San Diego yeah. or am I going to be priced out and so that was really refreshing to see it's refreshing and i think it's a really good point for everyone to listen to because even yeah. though we talk commonly right now about the, the challenges that are plaguing the economy yeah. at large specifically real estate and mortgage there's also for your situation if you plan on staying here then you're already talking about buying a home and then trying to time that just becomes painful <laughs> yeah. because it's, it's pain at, at the wrong price it's pain at the wrong rate but if you're looking to stay here and you're going to be here for five years 10 years 15 years this is not the conversation where you're just trying to decide, well, which car am I going to have for a two-year yeah. lease? Like, that's not the deal. Yeah. Don't make a two-year choice when you actually have a 10 or 15-year plan. I agree. I agree. 
so so with this situation, uh, not only is this person making more of a long-term choice, but I want to talk about the type of people that are still getting approved right now in the market. What are some examples of either income, job type, one income, two income? Let's talk about that a little bit so that people understand what is still getting approved in this market. Yeah, right now, obviously, um, a lot of our government officials, they're still getting paid. They're actually getting pay increases. Yeah. Yes. You know, we yes. already know on January 1st of 2023, we already know uh, basic allowance for military. It's going to go up and their base pay, you know, and um, we are just doing another loan for Homeland Security. They're also getting a pay increase, yeah. you know, and it's I want to say it's like four to six percent somewhere. It's one of the yeah. uh, the bigger um, pay increases that they've yes. actually seen in many years. Yep. So those are the people that are pretty much still, and obviously it's taking, now it's not just one income that's needed. Now we're actually yeah. needing both, right? Because the medium sales price, Andy in San Diego just came out and it's $830,000. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. In San Diego, it's 830,000. Back yeah. in 2008 it was 650. Yeah. Now it's $830,000. So for something like that, we already know for 6,500, it's 8,500 that you yeah. have to make. So yeah. let's add about another, Geez, I'm gonna say about another forty thousand on top of that. Yeah, you know, so we're, right. we're we're starting to need, we're starting to see that it's gonna be dual combined so income. Dual, dual combined income, people that have job, job security, correct? Either it's government connected, yes. Or service based, can, uh, connected in some fashion, yes. or government contractors. Is another one. Uh, I think another one is the people PCSing to San Diego. I know it's again, it's, it's active duty, yeah. but PCSing to San Diego in 2023, 2024, like trying to get ahead of that process and get correct. that started. I know that's gonna the, that's working for people. Yeah, I was talking to the other day about someone who's moving here and they're yeah. already talking to him about that so i know that's happening yes and that's where we're at i mean hey you know with the our, our government jobs there's they're, they're still their government jobs yeah you know yep. i don't want to too dig deep in there but you get the idea yeah they get paid yeah you get paid yep. you know there's a lot of civilian jobs there. we're hearing you know a lot of people there's there's plenty of jobs out there that's there's that's great jobs out there you know there's but yes. a lot of times right now just people are taking the time to see, do I really put myself in that position yeah. or do I really seek what I want to do? Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, these are the, these are the, um, the, the, the truths of the, the truths of the market, you know, I kind of, sometimes I kind of have to do one of these, Andy. I know you don't have that there, but, uh, but yeah, it's like, you know, it's just, it's too, it's really hard. Cause everything's changing so quickly. So it's like, Whoa, okay. Yesterday yeah. was this now it's what? Yeah. Well, it, what's, what's weird. Well, it's, I guess it's weird. But I look back at like, um, you know, when the housing collapse happened back in the day, yeah. we'd wake up and like, what bank closed overnight? <laughs> but now it's like, what rule changed? What guideline changed? Implode what, a meter. What, what's, what's inflation yes. today? What's the job rate? Like, oh, there's so much hyper focus on yeah. the data because we changed a lot of things yeah. because of that season. That season wrecked so much that a lot of changes were made to help prevent that, which I think we're going to be the beneficiaries of. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's just that there's going to be a, a lot less calamity than, than there was Correct. during that time. Correct. I know this is a lot of stuff, mumbo jumbo and stuff for our normal audience, but we like to get a little more technical. And as you guys see, Andy is the brains. He studies this. I'm telling you, I get text we messages. Were both there. <laughs> we were both there. We the difference now is because we have better ways of communicating. We're doing these things. Yeah. You yep. know, back in that day, it was just a lot more difficult, Bro, you right? Type that one page newsletter. <laughs> oh my goodness, absolutely. So, you know, we want to just put this content out there just yeah. to make you aware. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, whether it's a home, it's a car loan, it's a personal loan, it's a loan to do an ADU, whatever it may be. What we're saying is just prepare yourself, start doing it. If you're going to do it, just do it now, right now that you know you can do it. If not, just kind of wait it out. If it's yeah. not like a life and death type of thing. Yeah. You can afford to wait, wait. You know, if you could afford, yeah, just wait. Just, it, it's what it is. Yeah. You know, cause I'll tell you, I don't know what's gonna happen. I wish I had that crystal ball again. Right. right. You know what I mean? And it's really, really, really difficult to yeah. predict what we have, what's in store for the next few months. Yeah, I think the when is the biggest issue. Um, I think the what is somewhat known. We know that they will have to stop rate hikes at some point we know that rates will have to yeah. correct at some point correct it's just that the win part is the particularly difficult yeah. part because so much of that win in the future is predicated on the data that we get yeah. every week every month yeah. and like for example back 
to inflation. Today we got an inflation reading for the previous month, but then we got housing data that, that, that mixed in there is housing data yeah. from 60 days ago. So it's like, so even in that basket of the, the, yeah. the, the what's analyzed, it, it's so it different. Older data than some of the more current Correct. data that we're making choices on today for. Yeah. Hey, the current data is I do have a friend that works at Costco. And I was telling oh, him, how's yeah. the spending over there? Yeah. He goes, TVs and like your electric toothbrushes and stuff like that that aren't necessities. They're starting to stay stay on the shelves probably yeah. longer. Yeah. He's all, what's going is like the milk, the, food. the necessities, the water, stuff that's the necessities, that's what's going. So these are yep. the facts, you know what I mean? Yep. And here's holiday, holidays coming up and we'll see tomorrow, right? We're gonna see retail sales tomorrow. We're gonna we'll see, see tomorrow. sentiment on Friday. And we'll see tomorrow's what that says. Friday. Tomorrow's yeah, Friday. Tomorrow on Friday. <laughs> well, some, I think some people are going to watch this on Friday. Yeah. Whenever you're watching this, retail sales is coming or did come out on Friday. <laughs> if you watch it Friday today. <laughs> so, so I think that's going to tell us, I mean, kind of what the health of the consumer is and how we're spending. But you're right. Yeah. I mean, it, even the charts show it too, where um, it, it looks like electronics and the kind of those, what I've been calling those peripheral spending. Yes. Where you don't really need the new TV. You don't need yeah. the new phone. Um, but Bar you your cousins. Need, you need to eat. You got to feed your kids. Yeah. You got to pay your utility bills. And so every month on salary income or um, hourly income, the, the budget is being fought for. Yeah. The money's being fought for every month between electricity and gas bill, water, food, fuel for your car. You just you know, bought a chair for $25. I did buy a chair for <laughs> I, Yeah, I got a, like a $200 chair for 25 bucks. But, but here's the story. Someone locally needed to sell it because she needed to pay her rent. Yeah. And That's and, crazy. You know, she had to sell her chair so that with other things she was selling, she could afford to pay yeah. her rent. Like, yep. That's around the corner from right here. And what's nice with Andy, he's talking about saving your money right so he was gonna buy this chair for $25 but he didn't have no change so and this is a guy that doesn't feel sorry for anybody because that's not the whole uh, point of this <laughs> but he was just generous enough to say I was already on my mindset I'm gonna, was gonna already gonna pay a hundred dollars right yeah I was gonna have so to what's buy $40 I still got it, and the chair is really yeah. nice. It's a brand new chair. It's almost brand new. So forty dollars, and it went a long way with her. She yeah. was so grateful, she right? Had Twenty-five. I only had forty, so I gave her forty. And like, I don't care about the fifteen dollars difference. Yeah. It was, it's but you know, her, Andy, that's why you wear the shirt right. Okay, that's why you wear that <laughs> shirt right. Right? You're to mortgage heroes. We're always looking out after others. It's yeah. it's just what comes naturally yeah. from us. So you guys, with that said. You know, if you guys have any questions, anything you'd like us, Andy, to look into and bring, <laughs> let us know. Okay. Just please send us a, a, a an email, text us, do whatever. Yeah. Just tell us what you guys want to hear more of because yeah. we're here for you. Yeah. We're here to see what you guys want to listen to. We think yeah. we know what you want, but, yeah. you know. And yeah, again, it doesn't cost you a penny to ask, but... It can cost you thousands by not asking. And we want you to ask. We want you to ask questions. We know there's things we should be telling you. Yeah. And we do. What we don't know is what you want to hear more of. So let us know what those things are. Please do. Again, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We truly appreciate you guys listening, passing on this information to your friends, your family. We just want us all to be knowledgeable, especially when somebody like this guy <laughs> is giving us this information. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye.